Well, the family of Temple University Police Sergeant Christopher Fitzgerald has filed a lawsuit against the alleged killer and his family. Yeah, three months after Chris was killed in the line of duty, his parents and wife have filed this lawsuit against the uh, killer. I'm not going to even mention his name. Uh, and the killer's uh, parents and the mother, uh, the mother's boyfriend, saying they are liable for negligence and this wrongful death. So we have Sergeant Fitzgerald's wife, Marissa, joining us here this morning, along with Attorney Joe Marone, who filed the lawsuit. And we want to thank you for being here. Thank you for having us. Well, I, know it, it's, it, I know it doesn't get any easier as the days pass. It does not. No. Um, it seems like the days get a little harder. Um, but we take it day by day yeah. and moment by moment. Um, our family is extremely strong and we're holding it together for him and for our kids. Um, so. Talk about Chris a little bit. <laughs> Christopher is something extraordinary. Um, goofy. <laughs> Love to make you laugh. Love to sing. He thought he was a singer. <laughs> he used to say he was supposed to be on Boys to Men group. <laughs> um, he loved his kids. He loved his family. There was never a dull moment in our house. Um, it was always playing with the kids or playing with the dog. Um, we loved spending time with each other. It was always when he was home, he wanted to be with the kids and I and just to do things. Um, he loved running. Running was yeah. his, if it wasn't us, it was running. It was always running, running, running. Um, something that took his mind off of the stuff that was going on in the city. Um, and he loved his job. Um, the main thing he wanted to do was keep the students on Temple campus safe. And he died doing that. That's right. Uh, Does that give you any consolation to know he, he died doing that, doing the thing that he was so passionate about? Yes. Um, I couldn't be more proud. And he's made all of us proud. Um, it's what he wanted to do. Mm -hmm. um, it's what he was passionate about doing. Um, he did his job, and he did it extremely well. Yeah. Um, I now call him the GOAT, the greatest <laughs> of all time. Um, do the kids understand what happened? Yes. Yeah. Um, our kids are super smart. Autumn is really struggling yeah. at night. Uh, she can't sleep because she would sneak in the bed and just cuddle in between us, and she would wait for him as he was coming home. I used to tell her, go to bed, Autumn. It's time to go to bed. You got school. But she had to wait for her daddy. So as soon as 11 o'clock hit, and he would get home around 11.30, um, she would be waiting, and she would come down and call Daddy. Um, our son, Armani, is a spitting image of his father. Um, he knew from the moment when we told him that his dad went to heaven, and he's super strong. I think he checks more on me. Um, he's more concerned about me and how I do. And so my oldest, um, our daughter, she is all about going into the military. So she really oh wants goodness. to do this for him. Mm -hmm. um, she struggles um, because he, sometimes he would pick her up when he was off uh, from school. And there's days that she cries because it's me now. It kind of makes me feel bad. So I'm like, well, I'm picking <laughs> you up. But she really misses him and our son, Julian, um, he has his days. Yeah, it's tough. Oh. Joe, uh, the lawsuit, um, who exactly are you suing? So we are suing um, the uh, Miles' mother, uh, the boyfriend. They live together in the Bucks County home, um, and we're suing his biological father who lives in Philadelphia. And what the reason? So here, Negligence? Here. Here, here's the reason. The reason is, is they charged this one individual for the crime. And we do know that he actually discharged the firearm and killed, killed Christopher 
but where there's a lot of information that there's more people involved and this is about accountability this lawsuit going out and getting additional evidence about what the mother knew what the boyfriend knew we know he lived at that bucks county home he was a, a minor we know that they had access to firearms he had mental instability he had a criminal record as a minor for terroristic threats he wanted to blow up yeah, the school go through the, some of the stuff he had a propensity for violence that's for sure oh, an extensive propensity for violence go through some of the examples well we, we know he was charged with with the crime as a juvenile for uh, uh terroristic threats he, he said he was going to blow up the uh Bucks County, I believe, middle school or That's high right, school, middle right? Middle school. Um, he's, he threatened other individuals, other peers. Um, and this went on. Bucks County Police Department has been out to his house multiple times. And, and the most disturbing factor is, is he had access to firearms that were on the property. Uh -huh. And the, the parents, the, the mom and the boyfriend, not only knew about it, they enabled it. Right? They enabled it, and, and that's a troubling factor, and that's how they now have themselves in the middle of I mean, they, they are a contributing factor to Christopher's death, both, both the mom and the boyfriend. How do you prove that? How do you prove that? Right away, you go out and you're going to take their deposition, and you're going to take it on the road, and you're going to see what they have to say. We're going to go, and this is the whole purpose of the lawsuit. The purpose of the lawsuit is now it gives us the legal authority to go out and get information that probably the DA's office wouldn't get because they're just focused on the prosecution of uh, Miles himself, right? Mm -hmm. This gives the Fitzgerald family the ability to go out and get information, to take matters in their own hands, to take justice in their own hands um, in some respect, and make sure that they hold everyone accountable for what happened to Christopher. That's just what this lawsuit's about. It's not about money. Right. Okay. Oh, yeah. M money, you know, there's no amount, of, no amount of money, and I don't think this family will ever have the amount of money to, to pay the Fitzgerald. It's right, about the there's Fitzgerald. There's no price on a lot. There's no price, but it gives yeah. the Fitzgerald family an opportunity now to go out and, and get the record have straight. Have suits like this been successful in other states? Well, we just seen it happen with Donardo. With oh, well, that's right, the Donardo case, right? That was a case where the the individual lived on the property right. with his family, and he and he was end up killing people on the property, and mm -hmm. and the, and Donardo and the family got sued. So it, it 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 does at least begin the process for the Fitzgerald family. They're unified. They're going to move forward, and they're going to hold everyone accountable for what happened. Okay. Do you right. think this lawsuit will help you to move forward and have closure? Uh, what I want is justice. Everybody needs to be held accountable. They allowed this individual to be around firearms. They allowed him to be in a school and make threats of, of a bomb. If you knew that your child was capable of possibly hurting himself or hurting others, you should have put a stop to it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And because you didn't do what you were supposed to do for your child, my kids don't have a father. This could have been prevented. And they all need to be accountable. Mm -hmm. You let someone come into your home and have access to your weapons. You, you chose to take him back home. You knew what was going on. And you, you didn't do anything. You didn't do anything. So. To me, I don't think there'll ever be closure because I will never have my husband back. My kids will never have their dad. They have to grow up without him. But if we can get justice and it's a move, it's a start, it's a step in this direction, then I'll take it. Yeah. And, and the other thing to think about, you know, we're going to take the depositions of the mom, the boyfriend, whoever else is involved. That's going to be on the record. If the DA's office wants to review that and consider filing additional charges, yeah. they'll have the opportunity to do that. When are you going to do it, the when, depositions? As soon as we can get them to comply. I mean, we're going to move as fast as we can. And, yeah. You know, we're, going to, we're waiting for them to get attorneys now. Okay. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. I hope you feel the love from the community. I do. The simple community. And I do. It's... Um, it's amazing. Um, I'm so grateful for the support um, that the city has shown for my family and I and the police departments. Um, I couldn't be more grateful and thankful. My family and I, I can't even explain it. Um, it's a blessing and I know that Christopher is extremely honored and extremely happy. And the only goal I have so far right now in life is just to make him proud and yeah. I'm sure you're doing that already. You're doing that. Thank you are. You're a strong woman. Thank, Thank you. you for being here. Thank you. Thank you, Holly. We're going to take a break.